Okay, so let's talk a little bit about people who are really struggling as of late. So, from a star seed per, uh, perspective, and usually this can be about star seeds, although it can be humans, any version of humans, long, short, whatever, but uh, specifically on star seeds. What happens generally, and this is just a generalization, there are many multiple versions of all different kinds, but these are just big generalities. There will be star seeds who found a way to stabilize themselves while they were going down to the lower vibrations of 3D. All the star seeds that listen to me, you will have been all the way to the lowest vibrations of 3D. There are star seeds have been not very many left right now who are in 3D but didn't go all the way low. Most of them have already raised and are in 5D already. But star seeds who went to the deepest, lowest vibrations, none of those star seeds have made it to 5D yet in the illusion of time space. Will be starting to just any time. But I'm talking to star seeds who went to the very lowest vibrations of 3D in order to experience those vibrations so they could assist in reassimilating and putting back together the grid towards oneness. Okay? You did this on purpose. All right. So any star seed who went to the lowest vibrations of 3D, which are just basically all the star seeds. If you're listening to me at any time, you're probably in this category. Um, you had to be pretty severely traumatized in some way to get down that low that quickly. You did that on purpose. You knew that was going to happen. You knew it was going to suck, but you also knew that you wanted to get to those lower vibrations and sustain them so that you would have the expertise and be able to assist as we went back higher. Okay? So number one, um, stop going to the past and beating anybody else up that hurt you because you say thank you to them. They assisted you to be traumatized so you could get down to those levels so you could assist in the way that you wanted to assist. That's why it's done. Okay. Once that is done, what a star seed usually did was one of two things. They would usually look around really hard and fast for anything to use to stabilize themselves while they existed in the third dimension. Some of them, like what I did, was I re-traumatized and re-traumatized and re-traumatized myself in order to stay in those low vibrations so I could do what I needed to do in the illusion of time later on down the road. Other people will do things like um, attach to their family, like uh, become mothers and fathers, or caretakers of their parents, or really into a career, or really become artists and really delve deeply into being an artist, or a caretaker, or like a lawyer to save poor people. One of many, 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 many things. Um, if you are a star seed the, who developed a place or a situation that kept you stabilized through your 3D low 4D vibrations, that's what I, I want to talk to you guys right now. Um, but let me come back to that in a second. For the star seeds who are more like me, who just continue to traumatize themselves over and over, once you get to this situation, you simply learn to stop traumatizing yourself and you raise to go to 5D. So as a general rule, what I've done to me in my life has been very, very difficult because it's ongoing, continually getting worse and worse trauma decade after decade after decade. The positive aspect is I haven't latched on to anything. To raise to go to 5D, I don't have anything to let go of. It's easy. I never stabilize down in those lower vibrations. There's nothing that I want to hang on to. It's very easy for me to let go of all of it to raise to 5D. So, disadvantage for that way of doing it? Very painful, ongoing traumas. No stability ever. Advantage? Nothing to have to worry about letting go of to go up to 5D. Now, the other way. If you are a starseed where you did develop something that helped you keep your feet on the ground somewhat, 
and you didn't have to re-traumatize all the time, all the time, all the time. So you found something, whatever it was, whether it was art or family or money, career, um, whatever, whatever it was, there's, you can do it with anything. Whatever that is that's kept you safe and and stable all of this, these years, this is the part that you will have trouble with. When I say you've got to let go of attachments, most of you have already let go of the easy attachments. Now we're coming down to the difficult attachments. So for any star seed that has used any of those things to keep themselves stable and somewhat sane, during the experience of the low 3, 3D to the low 4D vibrations, in order to go to 5D, you have to let go of those things that you've been using to keep yourself stable. you got to get to the point where you know, like you know, that you don't need them anymore. That that's what you used it for and you can let go of it now. Now, what is happening, what I'm seeing is... Um, that star seeds want to go to 5D, the one out of this really bad. They're sending a lot of energy, reaching up to 5D to hang on, reaching up to grab hold of 5D, reaching up for those high vibrations.